Even though the FSD capability has been sold to many people, Tesla's full self-driving software began two years ago as a beta program for selected owners. Elon Musk stated during the Q3 2022 earnings call that the FSD beta wide release is scheduled for the end of the year. Tesla's FSD beta public release appears to be proceeding as planned. According to Elon Musk's recent tweets, Tesla owners will soon be able to access FSD beta, possibly without relying on the safety score system. Welcome to Tech Heaven, and in this video we'll take a look at the reiterated details for Tesla FSD beta's upcoming wide release. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla intends to broaden the availability of FSD beta version 11 before Thanksgiving. The version 11 update is significant because it is the first iteration of the company's advanced driver assist system to use a single software stack. Elon Musk stated during the company's Q3 2022 earnings call last month that Tesla expects to implement a wide release of FSD beta by the end of the year. This means that Tesla customers who purchased FSD will have immediate access to the company's most advanced driver assist system. So we expect to go to a wide release of full self-driving beta in North America this quarter. So anyone who has ordered full self-driving will have access to the FSD beta program this year, most likely within the next month. So obviously anyone who buys a car and selects the full self-driving option will have it available to them right away, Musk explained. FSD beta is expected to run much more smoothly with a single stack than before. Elon Musk stated during the third quarter earnings call last month that Tesla expects to implement a wide release of FSD beta in North America in the fourth quarter. It's no surprise that Tesla owners asked Musk if his references to a wide release of FSD beta meant that anyone who purchased FSD would have access to the advanced driver assist system even if they didn't qualify through the safety score system. By wide release next month, do you mean to those who are currently in beta or to anyone who bought FSD and won't have to do a safety score? A Tesla owner inquired. Musk responded quickly, simply stating that it was the latter. With this in mind, it appears that Tesla's FSD beta fleet will likely see significant growth in Q4 2022, and even more so in subsequent quarters. Tesla's safety score system was introduced earlier this year as a means of screening drivers interested in participating in the company's FSD beta program. Tesla's safety scores are an evaluation of driving behavior based on five metrics known as safety factors, which include forward collision warnings per 1,000 miles, hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and forced autopilot disengagement. The safety score system has its detractors, with organizations like Consumer Reports claiming that the presence of such metrics would lead to unsafe driving. The issue is that Tesla appears to be employing some incorrect metrics. Without more context, the data Tesla is collecting and scoring could result in bad incentives. Kelly Funkhauser, Consumer Reports Head of Automated and Connected Vehicle Testing said. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic? Given that Tesla typically releases FSD beta updates to its employees before releasing the system to FSD beta program participants, it would not be surprising if release notes and videos of the system in action are shared later. Needless to say, this is an exciting time for Tesla fans, as version 11 could be the update that propels FSD beta to new heights. According to Tesla shareholder deck, the FSD beta program has 160,000 participants. Since the program's inception in October 2020, the total number of miles driven with FSD beta has risen to nearly 60 million. This is nearly double the number of miles driven when Tesla released a similar report in July. The widespread availability of FSD capability to anyone who purchased it would only increase this exponentially during 2023. Make no mistake, the broad rollout of the FSD beta program does not imply that FSD will exit beta and become the autonomous driving feature Musk has promised for years. Tesla still needs to show regulators what the FSD software is capable of and gain their approval. It will remain a beta program until then, and drivers will be fully responsible for supervising FSD actions. Nonetheless, Musk stated during the conference that he remains confident that Tesla will achieve full self-driving capability. The FSD software should be able to provide customers with a generally hands-free driving solution, with very few, if any, driver interventions. That is, if they ordered their Tesla with full self-driving capability. This currently costs $15,000 in the United States. 
According to recent reports, Tesla's preferred supplier for its next-generation full self-driving computer will be Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited. The chips that TSMC will reportedly supply to Tesla will be manufactured using 4 and 5 nanometer processes. If the reports are correct, Tesla could become one of TSMC's largest and most visible customers in 2023. This would also be Tesla's first customer in the large-scale EV manufacturing sector. Local news outlets such as Taiwan Economic Daily and China's IT House reported on the reported deal between Tesla and TSMC. TSMC, for its part, has not commented on the matter. Tesla has also not issued a statement on the matter. Tesla's premium electric vehicle lineup is already among the most technologically advanced vehicles on the road today. Despite this, Tesla is known as a company that never stands still. As a result, even though its Hardware 3 computer is already formidable, the company is planning to release a Hardware 4 computer in the near future. Details about Tesla's Hardware 4 computer are scarce, but Elon Musk previously stated that the new component would be first seen in the Cybertruck. Given that production of the Cybertruck is expected to begin next year, it makes sense for Tesla to secure a supplier for its next-generation FSD chips at this stage. Tesla's hardware computer upgrades have resulted in significant increases in the computing power of its vehicles. As a result, according to recent reports, Tesla's next-generation computer, which will be supplied by TSMC, will have roughly three times the power of the company's current FSD computer. Tesla began the initial rollout of FSD Beta version 11 on November the 11th at 11.11 p.m. PST. The update was extremely exciting, in part because it was the first iteration of Tesla's full self-driving beta that used a single stack. Tesla, on the other hand, has been extremely cautious with the release of FSD Beta version 11. After several days, many FSD beta testers had yet to receive the much-anticipated update. Details about the changes in the FSD Beta version 11 are scarce, especially since only a portion of the update's release notes have been made public. That is, until recently. The full release notes of Tesla's version 11 update are now publicly available thanks to the efforts of longtime FSD beta testers. For the time being, video demonstrations of FSD Beta version 11's capabilities have yet to appear on video sharing websites such as YouTube. According to Musk, when FSD mode is activated, the car's safety is significantly greater than when it is not. He also stated that regulatory approval for FSD is a separate issue. Musk anticipates that Tesla will release an FSD update next year that will demonstrate to regulators that the car is safer than the average human. Tesla will not have regulatory approval when it releases FSD this quarter. Musk, on the other hand, assured users that FSD would be able to drive to work, a friend's house or the grocery store without you touching the wheel. He did not say whether FSD would be classified as level 4 or level 5 autonomy when it is widely released. With the update set to be widely distributed in the coming weeks, it's only a matter of time before stress tests and demonstrations of FSD beta version 11 in action are shared online. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, would like to know, what are your thoughts about the FSD beta wide release? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.